Facebook Live, Facebook Live, Facebook Live. What's happening? What is going on? Oh, yes. We got a good look at this. I got my wife's pink robe on tonight. Yes. I had a dare with Jeff Militello to put my wife's pink robe on. And I'm doing it, man. I'm doing it. We're here. What's happening? It's going to be a good one today. It's going to be a good one today. We got all kinds of good stuff. I don't even know what I'm opening with here tonight. I got to look at my set list. Got to look at my set list. What's happening though? What is this? What's going on everybody? Let's see, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do double glasses. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do double glasses. Where's my other glasses? Motherfucker. Uh, where did I put my glasses? My main glasses. That's what I need to see. I might have taken them off over here. So you do the double glasses? Oh, yeah. Hard as fuck. Kyle Scott, what's up, bro? Sky Jordan Wood. Look at this. You do the double glasses. Mark McCracken. Unleash McCracken. Look at that, Jeff Melatello. Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. Got the fucking... It is. It is a beautiful robe. I bought this for her. I think I'm going to have to steal it now. I'm going to have to steal the, right, the, the wife's robe. It's very comfortable. It's a little hot. It's a little more hot than I want to deal with. I'll tell you that. So, uh, Joey, see Crystal Smelts. I look gorgeous. See, like the double glasses. See, I got the sunglasses and the reading glasses. This is the only way that I can do it. That's right. I got my wife's pink robe on a dare with Jeff Militello, who is going to do cocaine tonight and send me a picture of himself in a pink robe while doing cocaine. So, yeah, good times all around here on Facebook Live, motherfuckers. Good times. Yeah. Mike Berker, what up? We're hanging out. We're getting ready to rock. We're going to have to do something. We're going to have to do something up tempo and and happening here when uh when I do this. Let me I don't even know what I'm going to open with. Jeez, Louise. When you're wearing a pink robe, you got to open with a banger, right? Like you got to you got to open with something up tempo and raging. Let's see. I got so many songs here. What can I do? What can I do? I might have to do an up tempo machine head song. That's maybe what I'll do. Maybe I'll do an up tempo machine head song. Hmm. 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 But the memory remains. <laughs> Now, 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 it's gonna be good. No, 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 no. Now let you let, let you take in the full beauty. Let you take in the full beauty of the robe. That's right. Here's the backside. Rob is wearing a nice fleece robe from Macy's. That's right. How you like that? Ah! Reading glasses, motherfucker. All right. I can tell you what. The robe ain't gonna last long because it's hot as a motherfucker. Jesus Christ. And it's, we're having a heat wave here in California, so. But, you know, you can enjoy it. I figured I'd get a whole, you know, kind of tie it all together with some sunglasses, a little bandana action. Get a little beer. Check this out. Check out this beer that I got. I'm pretty stoked on it. This is called, it's called Breakfast Stout. Can you see that? Breakfast Stout. And it's got a little baby. It's got a picture of a little baby eating, <laughs> eating stout, I guess. <laughs> I guess he's eating a little stout. All right, let me see. Let me get my shit over here. Let me get my shit over here and come over here and see your beer, beers up, motherfuckers. Beers up. 
Ooh, that motherfucker is cold. That motherfucker is cold like my heart. All right, let me see. Where is my guitar? Hold on. Oh, you know what we need to do? I need to take you in here real quick. I No, don't do that. Don't. I don't want to do that. I got to take you in here because I've been recording these, if you did not know. I got my little setup over here. So the last two I've recorded, and it should be ready to go. Boom. It's on the laptop. Got the little garage band going. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. We got the garage band going. All right, we're recording. See, see, and I got the blue orange glasses that I figured tied well with the pink robe. So, you know, I'm, I'm color coordinated for you, Facebook. I am a professional, my friends, a professional. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm going to have to move this a little bit over here like this. Here we go on a faded prima donna. All right. Might need to go back there. One more time, everybody. Cheers, motherfuckers. Cheers. Ah, oh, that beer tastes fucking great. All right. All right. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do? Well, I don't know, no, 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 I cannot get, I was just working on, I was doing my warm-up, but... Poach and fame, Mira fine, down insane, but the memory remains. friends how are you i think i'm just about ready here i think i'm just about ready actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a little safety precaution here put the cord in this way put the cord in this way there we go uh, how is everybody are you having beers at are you drinking that's right josh yeah too what's up cheers friday night complete cheers motherfuckers cheers beers up beers up All right. We're going to do, a lot of people ask for this song when I'm doing the Facebook Live, so we'll have to do it, all right? This is going to be off of Supercharger. Oh, we got two down. Yeah, that's right. What's going on, motherfuckers? You just tuning in? You never seen a metal motherfucker playing a pink robe before? Well, you can thank Jeff Militello for this supposedly is wearing a pink robe and snorting a lot of cocaine right now. Because <laughs> that's how we get down on a happy hour on Facebook Live. I need you to back up. I need you guys backed up just a little bit. And I need this up here just a little bit. And I need this lifted up just a tiny bit. Boom. There we go. There we go. That's better. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know that I've been walking on a railing, on a dialing, a failing. Now I think wrong. I don't belong. I don't fit. I don't get much shit. Think my guitar and microphone pour out my fucking soul. God, let's think it. You need to stop overthinking quicker. You need to the strange. I'll be fine. Leave me alone. I can't see the things that make your happiness go. It's all in your head, it's in your head, sad but it's true, it's inside you, someday you'll see in your own happy, it's all in your head, I know that, I'm a runner, and I'm master, and the Lord knows 
that I fucked up And I don't need you to point out every mistake that I make I'm sick of all your negative God, little, 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 little. Not me thinking, you need to stop overthinking Because I'm not out to stride, I'll be fine Leave me alone, I can't see the things that make your happiness go away Well I can, it's all in your head, it's in It's just inside of you. 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 It's just inside. You can't see the things that make your happiness go away. Well, I can't. Honestly, you're driving me insane again. Because it's all. It's just inside of you. It's just inside. Boom. There we go. Pink robe. Acoustic happy hour. Vibes are flowing. We got the feels going. We got the feels going, ladies and gentlemen. The feels are good. We got to make it good. California's burning, for God's sakes. The whole fucking state's on fire, for Christ's sakes. We got to do something to feel good here. Cheers, motherfuckers. Cheers. Cheers. What are we saying here? I can't see anything because I got my glasses on. I got to put my glasses on over my glasses. Yes. What's up? Jeff Militello, what's happening? That is an icy cold beer I got right now. Ooh, that is a cold beer. This is a breakfast stout. Motorhead, Ace of Spades. <clears throat> Mike Roos says one of my favorite songs. All right. Michael, deafening silence. I can do that. I can do a little bit of deafening silence later on. I can do a little bit of Nirvana right now. Sure. Somebody requested Nirvana. Let's see here. I've got... Welcome, if you're just tuning in. Right now, if you're just tuning in, this is the Rob Flynn Acoustic Happy Hour. Pink robe edition. I took my, I borrowed my wife's pink robe just for you. Lots of sunglasses. Actually, these are my sunglasses. Contagious Here we are now And it's ain't us 
That's all the lyrics I remember. I find it hard, so hard to find what I... Did you know that Burton C. Bell from Fear Factory was in that video? Did you know that Burton C. Bell, a long-haired Burton C. Bell, is in that video? He's one of the kids sitting on the bleachers there from Fear Factory made an appearance in the Smells Like Teen Spirit video, goddammit. How crazy is that? Is my boy Tommy T here? Is Tom Trakus in the motherfucking house? Lead the freak, huh? that I can do a little bit more in Nirvana kiss from a rose stop with the kiss from a rose <laughs> I'll do some Alice in Chains for sure for sure I'll do this first all right let me put my glasses away I'll just put them right here makes it easier she has me like a Pisces when I Been locked inside your heart shaped box for weeks. I've been drawn into your magnetor pit trap. I wish I could eat your cancer when you turn black. Motherfucker. Hey, wait, I got a new complaint. Forever in debt to your priceless advice. Hey, wait, I got a new complaint. Forever in debt to your priceless advice. Your advice. Hey, 
right I got a new complaint Forever in debt to your priceless advice Your advice Your advice Your advice <laughs> What's happening? What's up, head cases? What's up? So, yeah, nice outfit. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. In case you're just tuning in, I'm wearing my wife's pink robe. That's right. On a dare with Jeff Militello, who is apparently wearing a, a pink robe as well, sending me photographic evidence of it. Annie Pritchard, what's up? Warren, what's up? Sweet dreams. That's all you're going to get. Down, I will definitely do a Depeche Mode song. I will do Stripped later on. Just keep on requesting it. All right. What are we going to do here? Look at my... Let me look at my stuff here. Look at... Let me look at my stuff. What do we got? We could do... Let's do Second Chance. Let's keep it up tempo. While we're wearing a pink robe, we've got to keep it up tempo. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say cheers, everybody. Cheers, motherfuckers. Cheers. Beers up, motherfuckers. Beers up. I'm technically supposed to be drinking my Grey Goose and Bailey's concoction, which we're trying to find a name for. First, we started off with Creamy Brown Eye, which is, no, no one's going to drink that. No one's going to drink a Creamy Brown Eye. Then we went to Goose Cream. Then somebody earlier said Goose Juice. And then somebody else said, I can't remember what it's like, brown, brown goose or something like that. But so, but, but I only brought beer because it was just my fucking, I was rushing out of the fucking house, man. I was rushing out of the house. I had to get my pink robe together at the last minute. So anyway, beers up, friends, beers up. I'm hoping that all of you are safe and sound and doing okay. All things considered, if you live in California, I feel for you. We're uh, currently experiencing over 300 fires at the moment. We've had 12,000 lightning strikes here. So uh, it's crazy. This whole fucking building smells like smoke. You know, it's crazy. But we're just going to rock. You know, I'm in an urban area. My house is about an hour away from the fires. So I, we're safe, I think. You know what I'm saying? I think we're going to be safe. So, I know Jared, though, everybody send some good vibes to Jared, okay? Jared had to evacuate. He's uh, near the Santa Cruz area. And uh, I don't know. They got, they actually left voluntarily. But, you know, who knows? So, they went to a friend's house in San Francisco. But they should be all right. They said the wind shifted, so it should be going away from his house. Fingers crossed, but everybody send some positive energy towards Jared, all right? Do that favor for me. I'm going to take you back to an album called Sound of Madness right now. By the mighty Shinedown. I fucking love this band. I love this album. Oh, my God. Top to bottom, every song on this record is a banger. From the opening track to the last track. Such a good record. This is the biggest single, probably. So I'm going to try this. It's a good acoustic song. 
But if you haven't heard it, do yourself a favor and check out Santa Madness, all right? song i tell you what the last time that i played that zach myers the guitar player <laughs> he posted it, i guess he watched it and he totally cracked up about the drum fill <laughs> so he was just like we got to do that drum fill live next time so it's cool shout out to zach myers shout out to shine down great fucking band god what a band great fucking band man all right what's happening What's happening? Uh, Wasp, I know. Was it Wasp, Frankie Minnelli? I thought he was in Quiet Riot. That's where I knew him from. Yeah, that was crazy. That was cray, 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 crazy. Evan Vossen, what's up? I know, I was just thinking that. It's funny, as I was looking at this, I was like, I look like the dude right now. Except for other than the dude didn't wear a pink robe. Did he wear a pink robe? I'm just saying. But did he have chest hair like this? Huh? Look at this. Look at this. Mm. Uh. <laughs> uh. A kiss from a rose on an enemy. A kiss from a no, 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 no. I don't know, kiss from a rose. Oh, a little T Rex. Jammer right there. 
Greetings from Brazil. The way you look tonight. The way I look tonight. That would be perfect, right? All right. Maybe some Maiden. Maybe a little later. All right. Check it out. I'm going to bust out. I've been working on this song. Quite proud of it. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. All right. I'm going to bring it down, ladies and gentlemen. Slow it down. We did a couple. We did a lot of up-tempo jams. So now I'm gonna, you know, the perfect set takes you up and down. Gets a little horny. Gets a little sad. Gets you a little angry. Gets you a little happy. You know, everything in between. Gets you a little drunk. I got some. I got some. I got a booze song. I got the best booze song in the entire world right now. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna rock it tonight too. I'm telling you. Get this tuned. Tell you what, I talked about this last week. I did this last week, and I was pretty stoked, man. I was proud of myself. It's a big, it's a big, uh, it's a big thing to chew. A little Phil Collins here. A little in the air tonight. But we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna bring it down. This is where you, this is where you fire up your weed. Maybe do your line of cocaine. Snuggle up to your girl. But not really, it's not really a snuggly song. It's more of a sad song. This is where you just zone off into space, right? You get lost in it, right? I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Come 
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. A little Phil Collins for you. A little Phil Collins for you. How's everybody doing? Let me get my glasses on. I can't see now. Put my glasses on, see what you guys are saying. Bong time, says Glen Rowe. Bong time. All right, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're gonna do, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do. Not in tune. The song Bong Time? Do you know any Gojira? No. That would be horrible on acoustic. I think. Tenacious D. Oh, I know some Tenacious D. Wait, what is it? chord. Sometimes you gotta make some love. Fuck, why am I fucking up this chord? And even give us no juice to. Sometimes you got to squeeze. Sometimes you got to say you please. Sometimes, sometimes you got to say you Fucking teamwork. What's your favorite dish? That's cool with me. It's not my favorite, but I'll do it for you. What's your favorite dish? I'm not gonna cook it, but I'll order it from Zanzibar. And then I'm gonna own you sweetly. And then I'll fucking fuck you discreetly. And then I'm gonna bone you deeply. But then. A little spontaneous, tenacious D request there. A request from somebody. I can dig that. Need to get Jables. I know, I should get Jables on the goddamn podcast. Can you believe it if I got Jables on the podcast? That would be awesome. Awesome. All right, let's do a little machine head. We're gonna, I played this earlier. I played this earlier and I kind of dug it. I kind of liked it. I kind of like it. A little up tempo. Cheers, motherfuckers. Cheers, by the way. Cheers, everybody. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna last in this robe. It is hot as fuck. Jesus Christ, I'm sweating like a pig. I am sweating like a pig, my friends. Sweating like a pig. All right. This is from our album Through the Ashes of Empires. It is a song. All days to blue to gray. Goes out to my sugar pie. Ginevra. Days are blue or gray. 
Addictions call responsible to none above all. Self destruction make them function. Crayons and clay they turn blue to gray. They turn blue. Taking you back to some Through the Ashes, everybody. Taking you back to some Through the Ashes. Now we're going to take you to one of our most recent singles. Cocaine and the lies, the truth and alibis, 
excuses don't mean anything when tears run down our eyes. All I do is remember last September sitting in your car and hearing, man, I gotta go. And I wish it wasn't so. The wheel was sickle in the drain. Yeah, we were sickle in the drain. Just can't change. There you go, friends. There you go. Pick it up a little bit here. A little bit of, is there anybody out there? Oh, come on. Is anybody there? Sing along, Facebook Live. I was born as a bastard, no father, no master, a shadow in silence, searching for answers. Put up for adoption and left with no option, another kid falls or the fest of forgotten. To look into these desperate eyes as I passed into the wretched eye. But I ain't going down alone. Is there anybody out there? Anybody listening to me? Is anybody else scared? The paranoia drives me to my knees. Does anybody feel lonely? Listen to the dumb things I see. Is there anybody out there? Just like me, choking on these words because I can't rise. Come on. Is anybody there? One more time, Facebook Live. Now I stand as a father to men with no honor, ashamed of the racist I used to call brothers. They were flagging me bravery when brought by savory, the rabble, the devil, skies as a savior. And sickening feeling. Is a fear to speak that no one dares But I ain't out here all alone Is there anybody out there? Anybody listening to me? Is anybody else scared? Who can you trust me to my knees? Does anybody feel lonely? Just get every moment they see Is there anybody out there? Anybody out there? 
that just like me I'm jumping on the toilet that I can't say Live my life like I'll die tonight Dream like I'll live forever Look at that, a little machine head rock block right there. A triple shot of machine head. Thank you for the stars. I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Everybody, cheers. Beers up, motherfuckers. Beers up. Oh, that is a nice beer. That is a very, very nice beer. Yes, shout out to all the fans here. The needle and the damage done. I don't know if I know. Do I know? Uh, you know? Oh, I can do another Machine Head song. I can do another Machine Head song. I'll bring it back down since I just did three rockers in a row. Let's see here. Where is those lyrics? Where are the? I am a professional, my friends. I must look for the lyrics. Wait, I've got so many goddamn songs on here now. Jesus Christ. There we are. I've got like 60 songs on my list here. Ah, all right. What are we talking? You know what? It's time for me to get another beer. Do I know Shine Down? Yeah, I do know Shine Down. We played some shows with those guys back in the day. We played some shows with them back in the day. Great guys. Super nice guys. Played a couple of shows. Now, this is my second beer. I got the peanut butter stout. You know what? You know I got the peanut butter stout, yo. You know that I got the peanut butter stout, yo. All right. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, juicy. Sexy. That's one sexy motherfucking beer right there. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. There we go. There we go. Cheers, motherfuckers. Cheers. I'm going to show a little skin. Ah, uh, uh, cheers. Beers up. Beers up. Beers up. I got to say, just like when I played in a dress on Halloween a couple of years ago, there's something very liberating. I should have done this free balling. I should have just had, I should have had fucking no underwear. I should have just had the robe on. Then I could have truly been like the dude. PB stout, motherfucker. That's right. Peanut butter stout. No, actually, this is a peanut butter Milk stout. I don't know if there's any chocolate in it, but it's delicious beer. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm keeping with the stout. I'm having stouts, but I gotta, you know, I gotta mix it up here. I gotta mix it up. All right. What do we got? Oh, that's way better. I gotta put the glasses on top. I keep on putting the glasses under. I gotta put them on top. Oh my god, that's so much easier. Orlando shows are always great. Fuck yeah. 
Professional, very professional, my friends. Nipple tape, please. No nipple tape. Look, it's all for real. There's for you. That's for you right there, Floyd. That's for you. Uh, uh, all you, Floyd Barber. That's right, motherfucker. Sweaty nipple. Goddamn. I'm so I'm gonna. This is gonna be like we're getting to the end of the robe here. I'm literally drenching this fucking thing right now. I need to. I need to cool it off here. from an album that we did called Bloodstone and Diamonds. When I recorded this song, we had the music for a while. Dave wrote this riff. We didn't know what to do with it, but I was like, this is a fucking great song. I was like, we need to do something with that. I was like, I've got these really depressing lyrics that would go to it, but they weren't complete. So we stayed in Sweden, in Gothenburg, Sweden. And it was it was at the end of a summer festival tour. It was awesome. And the last day of the tour, oh my God. We were hanging out with Crumbs. Shout out to Crumbs. We were hanging out with Charlie. They took us out on the town, man. Oh my God, these guys treated us like fucking gold. And we had the best time. Oh my God, me and Steve Lagudi. The whole crew got laid. Everybody in the crew on the last night of the tour, they had. I came. We went out drinking. We went to a bunch of bars, and I came back. I came back to a bus full of girls. Every single crew dude with like girls on their laps, and I was like, "What the fuck?" They all got like everybody got laid. Lagudi got laid twice. Two different girls. It's like I was just like, "What the fuck?" All the crew guys got laid. I should say I didn't get laid. I went and jacked off in my room, but. That all the crew guys got laid, which never happens, which is why it was such a big deal. Even Larry, our boy Larry, who never got any pussy on the road, <laughs> even he got laid. So you know it was a good night for the crew. Anyway, the next day, I woke up and I was in this crazy, like, we were in Gothenburg, Sweden. I was in this crazy artist loft, right? Like, it was like crazy, super high, weird ceiling. I woke up, and it always rains in the summer in Gothenburg. So I woke up to this rain, and these church bells ringing. And I got up, and I was hungover as fuck, and I looked out the window, and there was just all these, like, it's all these green patina roofs with gold all over the shit, like just tons of gold throughout the whole, you know, pretty wealthy city. So I was like, oh, I was like, such a good vibe back out with Crumbs, Charlie from Arch Enemy, got fucked up again, and the next day it was like, okay, we're going to go record the vocals to this song. I hadn't written anything down, I'd just been kind of formulating in my head. I wanted to soak in Gothenburg, and I wanted to make Gothenburg part of this song. So I got in the elevator on the walk, it's about a mile walk to the studio from our hotel. So I wrote all of the lyrics in the elevator and on the walk over, just on my phone, typing on my phone. And then I got there and I walked into the vocal booth and I basically sang it. And I was just like, I want to start the whole song off with nothing. Just a vocal, just a really lonely vocal. And then we'll bring in all this stuff. So it started like this. And this is the only note that I had behind me. It was just that drone note. I was like, just give me the one note so I can pitch to something. And I went like this. Sound. 
slowly melts in the gray of this depression and her endless kiss. I hope to feel alive again and in the numbness where in I sit in silence deaf to all and I There we go, huh? That goes out to my wife, Ginevra. Another song out to Ginevra. Beers up, motherfuckers. Beers up. Cheers. I tell you what, what am I going to do now? Oh, you guys like that, huh? You like that dark, uh, that damage inside. Yeah, it's kind of like a different version. It's like a version that I could do more live, you know what I mean? Like, we we never played that song live. Can you believe that? We've never played that live. And I can tell you why, because it's so mellow. Like, it's just so low. I just don't know if it'll work. We never knew if it would work. You got these chords? I know you know these chords. It's a crazy time in the world right now, man. I tell you that. America's crazy. We got fires in California. We got a goddamn postmaster general that's trying to rig the election. Closing and removing all of the mailboxes throughout the fucking states. And then he said, oh, well, I'm not going to stop anymore. 
I'm, I, hey, I tell you what, I'm going to not do anymore. Well, you know what, motherfucker? You already fucked it up. So now you got to fix it back to the way it was. Now, you don't just get to break it and then be like, look, I won't break it anymore, all right? No, fuck that shit. Tell you what, I'm fucking pissed. I tell you what, that racist piece of shit, Steve Bannon, got arrested yesterday. That motherfucker got arrested. And he got arrested for ripping off other racist piece of shit motherfuckers. How about that, huh? How's that for some fucking karma? Build a wall, motherfucker. Build a wall. Suck these balls, motherfucker. Before you build a wall. No, 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 no. Shit's crazy. I tell you what, I don't like Biden. I don't like him at all. But I tell you what, I watched his speech yesterday, and that motherfucker finally got pissed off. And that's what I've hated about him so far. He's just been like, oh, like, let's just be nice to everybody. Fuck, you motherfucker. What the fuck are you talking about? No, last night he got pissed. 12 minutes of pissed off. I was like, it's about time, motherfucker. I've been pissed off for fucking months. I've been pissed off for years. Decades. I tell you what, when I wrote this song, I was really pissed off. I was a pissed off motherfucker writing this song. I tell you what, my band didn't want me to put this out. And I didn't give a fuck. This shit needed to come out. song came out of me like a fucking, like a bullet out of a gun. It fucking vomited out of my brain. Needed to say these words. I needed these words to be heard. I needed these words to live on forever. Sometimes you just got to follow your heart, man. Sometimes you just got to follow your gut. People will say, oh no, don't do that, man. You're going to make so-and-so mad. Well, fuck so and so. Fuck so and so. You know, you just gotta do what you feel is right, man. And you know what? You may put it out into the void and nobody may fucking care at all. Or a bunch of people may care, you know? You never know. You never know. People hated this song when it came out. Hated this song. I had motherfuckers in Texas flipping me off the entire fucking song. Fuck you, Rob Flynn. Turning their back on me playing this song. You know what? I still played it anyway. I still played it any fucking way. And it wasn't a song I was going to write three years from now, four years from now, seven years from now, and then put it out. No, it needed to be said. I wrote this shit the day after the election. I put it out on YouTube three days after the fucking election. And I stand behind every fucking word. And anybody don't like it, suck my fucking dick. I wrote this song about my sons. That I had with them. The morning of the election. And basically, the first verse is pretty much every word that I said to them verbatim. And it was a tough conversation. My wife and I were having this conversation with our two kids. You know, she said a bunch of awesome stuff. More awesome stuff than me, probably, because she's fucking a force of nature. very well spoken always knows the right thing to say but I had to write that stuff down the next day and I had to put it out the next day after that and so I did so if you feel like getting mad Facebook live for the motherfucker in a pink robe right now 
Get mad with me right now. Get it out. Get it out. Yesterday I told my son Sometimes the bad guys win That it made me scared about the world that we lived in But I had to reassure them that it wouldn't be for long Son, we have to be ourselves, we have to be strong I said, boys, you are the future, so let this be a lesson Pick this shit up. Let me see some hearts go by. When I looked out to the world today, thought, what a fucking mess. They stripped our morals from us, put them under house arrest. And liberty and country are the words they need to speak. A little God, a little freedom. If we don't agree, we're weak. And every politician took their idol and so smug. Empowering the racist and second amendment thugs. Wall Street and the billionaires convince us it's so smart. Singing, vote with your wallet instead of with your heart. But we won't go away. You won't forget our name. The pussy generation, the PC and the brave. The protesters that sing along these streets of misery. And so, I'll sing, sand your ground. Don't.
There we go, friends. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts going by. Thank you for singing along if you were singing along at home. Cheers, motherfuckers. Beers up! Beers up! All right. What are we going to do now? I tell you what. Oh, you fucker. Hold on. My computer turned, my computer went into, oh, there you go. There we go. All right. What do we got here? What do we got here? Um, ow. Tell you what, song is a doozy on the fingers. Jesus Christ. Uh, um, what's everybody saying? What's everybody saying? How are you? Good morning from Australia. Pearl Jam Black. Oh, you want to hear Pearl Jam Black? All right, let's do Black. I love that song. I love doing Black. It's a fun song for me. It's a fun song for me. Is Tommy, is Tommy T here? Tom Trachus in the house? Head P.E.? I don't know if I know any head P.E. Morning, Australia. Big pimpin' outfit. That's right. That's right. I'm showing some skin tonight. I'm showing some skin. Jeff Militello dared me to wear a pink robe. Apparently, he is wearing a robe right now as well. And doing loads of cocaine. Gorilla! I'm gonna do some Bruno Mars here in a minute. Oh yeah. But right now I'm gonna do some Pearl Jam, all right? Yeah. Alright, oh I gotta take my reading glasses off. That's gonna make me dizzy. Oh, 
I like that, man. I like that song a lot. All right, we're going to try something. We're going to try this. I feel like I got this down. I'll tell you what, I'm a big Bruno Mars fan, especially that Orthodox Jukebox record. Oh, my God. That Orthodox Jukebox record is sick, bro. Cheers, motherfucker. If I say right. Cheers. Right on. Bukoink. Bukoink. I tell you what, I like this beer, but man. That breakfast out thing was really good. I like that a lot. I might have to get that for later. I might have to get that for later when my wife and I are hanging out and I'll still be in the pink robe and we'll be singing songs, getting drunk. I'll be drinking my goose cream. Goose cream! Goose cream! And she'll be kissing on my neck, you know, and we'll, she'll, actually she'll be giving me a lap dance. That's what she'll be doing. This is my fantasy. My fantasy will be that tonight she'll be, we'll be hanging out, listening to... Depeche Mode or New Wave or something. And she'll be giving me a lap dance, which will be hot. And then she'll be kissing on my neck. Oh, my God. It'll be awesome. And then we'll just be singing hammered out of our minds. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, friends. That's what I'm talking about, my friends. I am a professional when I party with my wife. All right, we're going to try this. All right, we're going to try this. I'm gonna give this a shot, all right? A little Bruno Mars. This is my first time trying this. I'm trying two new songs. You know, I always try to do three new songs every week. So this is the this is the first new song that I'm gonna try, all right? This is a song, it's kind of a sad song, but I love sad songs. I'm a sucker for sad songs. Uh, I tell you what, and this is Bruno Mars, and this is a fucking badass song. I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. I may fuck it up, but I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna rock it, all right? If you've ever heard this record, he put out a record called Unorthodox Jukebox. It's a banger from top to bottom. He's got one song on there called Gorilla. Opening line of Gorilla is, Ooh, I got a body full of liquor and a cocaine kicker and I'm feeling like I'm 30 foot tall. Oh, oh. And I was like, oh shit. I was like, Bruno Mars is fucking ready to party that motherfucker. He's ready to get, I was like, let's do this, Bruno Mars. Holy shit, I want to hang out with you. 
but he's got other songs on there that are more sad. He's got something for everybody. It is a great record, something for everybody. Some perfect pop music. Funky is all hell, too. So funky. But this right here is a song. Oh, I need to find the lyrics. Let me get the lyrics. Let me get the lyrics. Where are they? Uh, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Nope, that's Memory Remains. Uh, here it is. Here it is. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready for some Bruno Mars Facebook Live? Facebook Live! Facebook Live! Are you ready for some fucking Bruno Mars? I hope so. You gotta get in the mood. You gotta get in the mood, all right? Get your drinks out. Get your drinks up. Have a nice sip. This goes out for everybody tonight. If you've lost somebody, you'll find love again, man. You will. You will, my friends. You'll find love again. Same bed, but it feels just a little bit bigger now. I saw him on the radio, but it don't sound the same. When a friend talk about you, all it does is tear me down. Cause my heart breaks a little when I hear your name. It all just sounds like me. Oh, too young, too dumb to realize. Should have bought you flowers and held your hand. Should have gave you all my hours when I had the chance. Take you to every party, cause all you wanted to do was dance. Now my baby's dancing, but she's dancing with another man. Of my selfish ways Cause a good long woman like you To rock out my life Now I never, never get to clean up the mess I made Oh, and I can't feel it through my own eyes It all just sounds like Bought you flowers and you held your hand. Should I gave you all my hours when I had the chance? Take you to every party, cause all you wanted to do was dance and do all the things I should have done when I was your man. And though it's all Takes you to every party Cause I'll remember how much you love to dance And do all the things I should have done When I was a man Do all the things I should have done When I was a man Alright man Right, I felt good about that. I felt good about that Facebook Live. I was a little nervous, I gotta say. I'm a little nervous about that one. That's a big one to chew off. That's a big one to chew off, old Bruno Mars. Yeah, Rob Flynn in a pink robe playing <laughs> Bruno Mars. That's right, motherfucker. That's right. Cheers. Oh, I gotta cool this shit off. 
Jesus Christ. All right. How much time we got? I think we're wrapping it up here. We're going to start winding it down. Beers up, motherfuckers. Beers up. Cheers. All right. Fucking beautiful Jeff Militello. All right. Love it. Very, very nice. By the way, if you are hanging out here and you're still here, and it still looks like there's some people here, I, uh, I appreciate you being here. You know, if you don't know this and this is your first time tuning in, I will be doing this every single Friday. Not always in a pink robe. Not always in my wife's pink robe, but every Friday I will be here. Unless I'm fucking camping or dying of COVID, I will be here doing this. Uh, as you may know, we have lost all of our touring for the, la for the foreseeable future for probably the next two years. Uh, we do have a studio. We have lights to keep on, bills to pay, managers and lawyers and accountants and everybody. We have, a, uh, we have some bills to pay, man. And so anything that you can do to help is appreciated. There is a way somewhere. I'm not exactly sure, but you can donate stars. You can send us stars, and that goes directly to us. Uh, another way is I left a little link in the thing here that says back machine, PayPal back machine head. We have a saying in machine head. It goes, I back it, right? Like I back it. That means that you back what we're doing or I back what that person's doing and we're supporting it. So if you feel like supporting machine head, that is a way you can leave us a tip for $5, $10, $20. Some people leave a hundred dollars. It is always very much appreciated whenever you do that. If you can afford it, Please do it. If you can't, totally understandable. If you are one of the 20 million people that are currently unemployed, about to get evicted, maybe just on your fucking, you're at your wits end, maybe you just lost your house in a fire or had to get evacuated, look, man, all I'm trying to do is make your Friday a little bit better. If you cannot afford it, I'm just happy that you're here. But I want to say that if you can chip in anything that you can do, people always ask me, how can I chip in? You know, the band is lots always touring. How can I help out? This is a way that you can help out. Those tips, go buy merch, any of the millions of things like that. Support the band. You know, spread the word about the Facebook. Spread the word about this. Spread the word about the acoustic show. Just get people to tune in, man. Like, that's fucking awesome right there. You know, the more people that tune in, the more people can engage, the more people can contribute. You know, make more people throwing song ideas, all that good shit. All right. So right now, I'm feeling a little boozy. I'm feeling a little boozy, and I got a, I got a boozy song for you. I got a nice boozy song for you, right? I just discovered this song called Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton. Ooh, I love Chris Stapleton. Don't know how I never discovered this song, but I, just, I missed, missed it from one of the records. But God damn it. What a voice, man. Fucking dude's voice is unbelievable. Anyway, I am going to attempt a Chris Stapleton song that is, to me... Maybe the sexiest song of all time, and it's about booze, but it's booze for metaphors. And oh, this motherfucker is like somebody's getting a blowjob during the song right now. Somebody watching this right now, you're getting a blowjob because this shit, this shit is butter. This shit is butter. It's sex sauce, is what it is. It's the sexiest sex sauce there is. So beers up, motherfucker. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt a little Chris Stapleton. A little Chris Stapleton had to take my sister over there. I should do it over here. I should do it in front of you, right? Cheers. I said beers up. Cheers. Here you go. This is a little Chris Stapleton. This song is called Tennessee Whiskey, ladies. This goes out to the ladies. And it goes out to my wife, Ginevra. Who doesn't really like this song, but I'm going to sing it to her anyway. That's who I'm going to be singing it to. And I'm going to do it with my sexiest face that you can't even see right now because it's behind these glasses. I'll be like...
is Tennessee whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. You're as warm as a glass of brandy. And honey, I stay stoned. Time. I look for love in all the same old places. Found the bottom of a bottle's always dry. But when you poured your heart out, I didn't waste it. Cause there's nothing that you love to give me high or as sweet as Tennessee whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. You're as wine. Stay stoned on your love all the time. This is a solo. All right, Facebook Live, everybody. You're as smooth. This Tennessee whiskey, you're as sweet as strawberry wine, you're as warm as a glass of brandy, honey I stay stoned on your love all the time. This Tennessee whiskey. This Tennessee whiskey. Your love is smooth. This Tennessee whiskey. This Tennessee whiskey. This Tennessee whiskey. yeah oh yeah i hope somebody got a blowjob off of that i hope you're having making love right now there's one there's a glass of brandy all right friends I'll tell you what friends we've come to the end of the night We've come to the end of the acoustic happy hour. I wore the robe the entire time. How about that? No costume changes, goddammit. I just rocked it. I toughed it out. I'm gonna have to wash this shit when I get home. I'll say, uh, I'll do a quick beers up. A quick beers up for everybody still here. Thank you for hanging in. Thank you for sticking around for two hours. I appreciate it. Cheers, motherfuckers. Cheers. All right. Last song of the night, Darkness Within. You know what I'm saying? We are uh, in a crazy time. Shout out to Evan Vossen, Oz, a.k.a. Ozman. Zipcast came back from Guantanamo Bay. You don't know what Guantanamo Bay is. We've been serving our country for a couple of years. Many years, in fact. But got called back to duty. It was 
was gone for a couple of years, and now he's back. I appreciate it. Appreciate his service. I tell you what, shout out to all of the firefighters, all of the essential workers, all of the prison inmates who are basically doing slave labor out there, putting out the fires day and night to make us safer. So that those fires don't reach us, man. You know, we go through this shit every year, every year. And we got crazy fucking heat waves right now. It was 130 degrees in Death Valley the other day. So we got the crazy heat. We got these rolling blackouts, which have been going on for decades. I can't even remember a time when in August we didn't have rolling blackouts. Thankfully, we have not experienced that. I tell you what, that might be the only thing that stops a Facebook Live, but I would just do it in the dark. But if we did have a blackout, I would just do it in the dark and sing to you. Shout out to all those firefighters out there, man. It's fucking brutal. It's brutal. Because the heat right now, it's 100 degrees up there. Can't even imagine. It's a crazy job to do. So, I don't know what to say. I just kind of blanked right there for a second. Just kind of had a brain fart. I didn't know. I just lost and I was thinking of all the photos. I saw, I saw all these photos today, dude. Ugh. It was so sad. I saw these photos of fucking dead horses and dead cows, you know, up where the, all these fires are happening. This is the road that we drive to go wakeboarding. So, like, we our campground that we normally camp at, Spanish Flat, burned to the ground. Another campground that we used to camp out over there at the lake called Paradise Cove, burned to the ground, level, like nothing left. And, there, and, and the road there is, people live there, you know, there's houses and, you know, it's, it's very rural, but they've got farms and they've got ranches and, you know, I saw all these pictures of fucking dead horses and dead cows and... And then I saw this one photo today. My wife showed it to me, and I've been trying to find it. I couldn't. She couldn't find it after we lost it on Facebook. You know, because once you post, like you see it on Facebook, and then it just goes away, and then it's gone forever. But it was this fucking cot. It was this scorched earth, everything around it, and there was this one little baby cow in this one little area that they had saved. The firefighters had saved this one little patch of like six foot. Six feet and a little baby cow was just on there and it was unburned. And it was it was still just normal colored grass and everything around it was black. And it was awesome. It was amazing. And it was put up by, by Cal Fires. Cal, Cal Fires is who's fighting all these fires for us. And it was just, at the one hand, it was just sad. And at the other hand, on the other hand, it was just fucking awesome to see. It was just very powerful meaningful and you know, good will good will come but I tell you it's crazy watching all that stuff and to know that the place that we've been going camping for literally decades now decades I'm talking 20 years 23 years burned to the ground gone it's a little bit of a head fuck a little bit of a head fuck man so, uh, for all the people that are holding it down, any of those thoughts, I don't know if those resonate with you. You might be someplace where there's no fires. I'm just telling you what's going on in my life right now. My fucking whole neighborhood is covered in ash. So much fucking smoke. It's impossible. I can't even walk the dog without wearing a mask. It's fucking brutal. Open the door and fucking the whole car is covered in ash. I'm an hour, I'm an hour and 15 minutes away. This song is about, I don't even know, this song is about music, and nothing really that I'm talking about, other than just kind of pulling yourself up, man. You know, there's a line in this song that goes, I'm just a broken man. I was. You know, 
there's probably a lot of broken people up there right now, and I feel so sorry for them. For the people that lost their houses, lost their ranches, lost their animals. Jesus, it's horrible. We're only in This shit normally starts in fucking October. Like, we're in August. Fire season in California starts in October. So, you know, this song is about pushing through, not letting your darkness. We've all got a darkness inside of us. You know, there's a darkness inside of me. There's a darkness inside of you. That's why you're here. You know, that's why you're here. That's why you are connected to Machine Head, because there's something. You got problems. And I got problems. You know, we've all got problems. And this is the shit that helps make those problems go away. It helps fix those problems. Helps us feel better about those problems. Helps fucking save us from those problems. If you feel me on this Facebook Live, sing along every word, all right? I want to see the hearts go by. I want to see the hands go by. I want to see the, the likes go by. I want to know that you're singing this with me, all right? This is Darkness Within. Facebook Live. Mysteries forgotten chords. A strum in vain to please the Lord. But he has never answered me. And faith has waned eternally. An empty man pass along. Woes of all religions wrong. And now this shadow hail it falls. He threw the clear yet call so great. Worship in these desperate times and fill your heart with every note and cherish it and cast a flow. Cause God is in these cleft and tongue. Salvation is fed alone, haunted by its melody. Music, it will set you free. Facebook Live.
Facebook Live. Thank you so much for tuning in. You have been awesome as always. You guys have an awesome, awesome, awesome Friday. Pink Robe, checking out. You guys take it easy. Late.